Good morning and welcome to Washington Live. I am your host, Tim Elliott. We are powered by KCTC. Thank you, Casey. Thank you, Casey. With KC, KCTC. I'm joined in uh, my, my guest today, uh, this morning, is Leslie Allender. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning. You're going to talk a little bit more about your event that's coming up. Yep. On Wednesday. Wednesday, this Wednesday. So we're going to learn more about that in just a little bit. Uh, I also have my super producer, Alex Schneider. Good to be here on this Monday. Happy Monday morning. Happy Monday morning. This is uh, the this is the last time the show will be like this on a Monday. On the Monday, yeah. So they just really briefly, um, Washington Live is changing to twice a week. Am twice. I correct? Yep. Yep. Twice a week. Yeah. And it'll, it, but it'll be on the same time. Um, noon. It's going to be on at noon. Mm-hmm. It's going to be on at noon. Or you can catch it. Anytime, anytime on YouTube or Facebook. On YouTube, Facebook. I don't know anything about Facebook. Yeah. Do you know stuff it's about YouTube, though? Meta. YouTube? Oh, well, yeah, you can just go to YouTube. That's true. Yeah. So um, that the format's changing just a little bit, but we will be starting our new little venture. We will. You on, uh, and me and uh, Matt, and I believe John is going to join us. You heard about that? I don't know about that maybe you'll meet him today yeah but a whole new a whole new thing when we're going to call it the morning breath morning breath 7 15 to 8 15 starting monday you have heard about this yet i haven't yeah. I'm, I'm interested i'm intrigued breaking news mm-hmm. <laughs> we're going to have a, a daily from 7 15 to 7 45 as long as we all get up that's true it might just be you one day who knows yeah, who knows i'll be here <laughs> <laughs> that's early yeah I'll give you a call I mean, if I'm you don't up. show up. I mean, I'm up. <laughs> I might You're already up? up. I might have morning breath. Yeah, who knows? So, um, we're, we're aiming for this to be a fun, lighthearted, get your day going kind of thing. Nice. We're going to give it a whirl. Um, so, stay tuned for that starting next, next Monday. Next Monday. February 5th. February oh. 5th. Right and early. Right and early. Um... Weather, it's not so bad. It isn't. It is nice to see the sun. Yes. Because it's sure. been a while. It was a little foggy, you know, most of yesterday, most of the last weekend, most of a long time. Uh, but areas of fog, high of 39 today. It's pretty It's pretty warm. That'll melt the snow off your sidewalk, won't it? Yeah, it was icy. All, it was icy this morning. It was. Mm-hmm. That's from all that fog. Was it foggy when you came in? No, it was foggy last night, though. It was foggy this morning when I worked out. Oh. Yeah. At Shelliot? At Shelliot. You know the name. Yep, I do. I learned it. You know where it is. Yeah. All right. Big Yeller building. Big Yeller. Kind of like old Yeller. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Doesn't die. You ever see? It does not die. (laughs) It lives on. Tonight, mostly cloudy, windy. Well, some light winds. I'm just making light winds up because all we have here is wind. So I'm going to say light winds below 33. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, high of 38. We're going to see a lot of these upper 30s and low 40s this week, so that's okay. Paula says hi from Arizona. She oh, must be in Arizona. Paula. Is it is it more than 39, Paula? She won't get back to us right away, but um, that's nice you're out there, Paula. I wish I was somewhere warm. Um, some community events we have coming up. We have Wild Car Wednesday, um, mm-hmm. Valentine's, and that's it purposefully you, and we're going to talk to Leslie about that in just a little bit. Uh, that is Wednesday, uh, January 31st from 5 to 8. Thursday, we have a noon concert series at the Public Library here in town from 12 to 1. Mm-hmm. That is a uh, That will be featuring Mid Prairie Speech and Drama Kids. Exciting. Were you in speech and drama? Nope. I don't think there was such a thing when I was in school, but I was in drama. Speech is a new thing? Well, yeah. I, no, I don't, no, I don't think it's that new, but you have to remember I was in school 40 years ago. It's true. So, <laughs> Lots of and change. beyond. Um, Friday, we've got the Puzzle ch- the United Way um, fundraiser. It's called a Puzzle Challenge for United Way. It's out at Lebowski's from 6 to 10. This thing sounds like a hoot to me. You've got to be 21 years or older to, to, to play in this. And you, you get your team of four together, 
Each team gets a 500-piece puzzle, one large pizza, and one 12-pack of beer. That's the first team to consume all beer and pizza and put the 500-piece pizza to get a puzzle together wins. Oh, that's awesome. I, I don't know what you win. Doesn't matter. I think it's going to be fun. But there is, a, uh, there, is, there is kind of a catch. You can donate additional money to the cause to, um, for instance, if I wanted to sabotage Alex's mm-hmm. team a little bit, I could donate whatever, 20 bucks. They probably have a number. And maybe hide a piece of pizza or piece of, uh, of the puzzle. Make it ah, make put it them interesting. in a, Yeah. So uh, it, it just sounds like a great time. Uh, I, I assume you can just call out or go to Lebowski's Facebook page and um, let them know you've got a team of four. I would think there would be a limit. There's only so much room out there. It's a nice big okay. space, but um, that sounds like a really fun thing to do on a Friday night. Police report. Police report. Always love this. This just in. We do have Washington police report. We do. Caller called in, reported electrical wires on fire near the roof in the alley. Flames are visible. OPS 7. Boy, we got some different. Yeah, we don't know who OPS is. We need to know what this means. I'm going to get a hold of Chief Lester. Mm -hmm. I need need some schooling. Maybe it's fire department. Uh, I would guess. Um, The fire unit... AD 56, EMS 107 and 105. We know those two. Yeah, we know those two. Yeah, you're going to call one of them, Tim. Harold. <laughs> Harold. <laughs> and Alliant uh, responded, there was no fire. There was no fire. They- but there could have been sparks and, you know, somebody was looking out the window at the right time and saw something. Somebody else called in and said that um, somebody's knocking on their living room window. That's scary. Yeah. That happened to your place? No. I live on the second floor, so I'm uh, lucky. Well, I guess you live on the second floor, too. I do. So, no. It'd, it'd be, be really difficult. weird. It'd be really weird if somebody was knocking. It'd be difficult. 9214. The sheriff. 9214. Jim? Jim? Jim Lester. No. Is that the, do you say the he's sheriff? He's police chief. Oh, he's chief. Yeah, we're, at, we're the sheriffs. 9214. I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, responded, but couldn't locate anybody. Mm-hmm. Um, at Iowa City, <laughs> somebody called in and said somebody stole from my car that I left unlocked. My Altoids, my rosary, my sunglasses, and my spare change. I think the taking the ro- rosaries. That's drawing the line. Yeah, that's drawing that's drawn the line yeah. a little bit. What are you going to do with the rosary? <laughs> So, like Altoids, yeah, I get sunglasses. Probably look good. Lock your car up, people. Mm-hmm. You're in line. You live in Iowa City. That's true. Um, somebody else got a ride from uh, some sketchy cab company. <laughs> they, they, the, uh, the, the the guy gave off a weird vibe, and and they just want to make a report uh, about what? I don't know. Sketchy. Sketchy. Yeah. Sketchy Didn't cab company. Well, you called him. Sir, mm-hmm. ma'am. <laughs> but a weird vibe was received. Weird vibes. Well, not very great stuff, but, you know, Iowa City, there's just just their own beast up there. Mm-hmm. There really is. Um, anything else you want to do? Oh, I have to make mention. Okay. We have this new addition to the studio. Oh, the clock. Yeah. You pan yeah. over and look at that. <laughs> yeah. This is we can, riveting, we can, we can riveting video right here. Oh, they can't. They can't really see it. They can't. It's not zoomed in enough. Well, trust me. There's a very fancy clock. It tells me that it's oh, wait. 66 degrees. Right there. Right there. You see it? Yep. Okay. They see it. It does right say there. that it's 1011, and it's Monday, uh, January 29th, but I can't believe it's 66 degrees. Yeah, yep. it seems warmer in here. Yeah, it always yeah. is. I overdress with my jacket. Well, now we can see how hot it gets in here. <laughs> well, it went down, which is yeah. odd, because it wasn't like 68. Well, it is by the window, so it's probably colder by the window. All right, so that is reading. We gotta room move it. We gotta move it towards you. No, I we'll like it right where it is, so I can see it. 
we got to see how hot it gets. Gotta, <laughs> well, yeah, if we move it over here, it'll be up in the 80s, I think. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, thank you, Matt, for the new, or did you, was this one that you just had laying around? No, oh, Matt just came in this morning. He said, I got you a clock. So I was like, it's okay. Better than that thing that said that for the last, I don't know, year. <laughs> yeah. Inst- instead of putting new batteries in, we just got a whole new one. <laughs> That's fancy. Cause it's got the yeah. day, the time, mm-hmm. the month. Fancy. And it says the time for you. You yeah, don't even have to do any. Unbelievable. That's good Don't have stuff. to do any thinking. No thinking here. No thinking. All right, let's take a little break and we'll come back and talk with Leslie. Federation Bank is a locally owned bank providing award-winning customer service. We believe that we are more than just a federation of banks, but a federation of communities serving Brighton, Richland, Wellman, and Washington, Iowa. Federation Bank's highly skilled staff is here to make sure you are able to accomplish your personal and professional goals, whatever they may be. Federation Bank, your family bank. I am Melissa Westfall with Homegirl Realty. Heather and Charlotte and I have worked together for many years, and we have always had a vision to have a business together. I'm Charlotte Howard, and the good news is we bring a very high level of experience. We have a combined 80 plus years of experience in this real estate marketplace. I'm Heather Merrick, And Homegirl Realty brings a lot of things to the table. We have phenomenal communication with our clients, buyers and sellers to make sure things are going smoothly and you don't have anything to worry about. Washington County Hospital and Clinics, providing quality health care that puts you first. Whether during a hospital stay, seeing a primary care provider for wellness exams or sick visits, minor surgery to a total joint replacement, or recovering from an injury, we're here when you need us. More than you expect for your health care. Washington County Hospital and Clinics. Sea monsters eat fish and ships. Good morning and welcome back to Washington Live. I am your host, Tim Elliott. We are powered by KCTC, and um, our guest today is Leslie Allender. She Good is morning. with Purposefully You <laughs> Boutique and Home. Boutique yes. and Home. Yep. Leslie, you, you have a Valentine event you're hosting this Wednesday, January 31st. We are. We um, Every month we do a wild card oh. um, workshop. And so this one is specific to Valentine theme. Um, and uh, we'll be taking and recycling um, old picture frames. And then creating a um, uh, center for those frames that's Valentine related. Um, and so on our wild cards, um, what it, the fun part about why we, when we first started them, we um, started them with, uh, we had extra supplies left from other workshops. So we'd put them out there. It was a reduced class, reduced rate for people to come join. You didn't have to sign up or register. You could just come in Mm -hmm. um, and uh, stop in during a period of time and craft. Have um, a little bit of craft time, take something home, a finished project. Well, um, we started getting regulars um, coming, and then uh, we started growing our group. Um, we last workshop we did, we hosted 26, I believe, nice. um, on Wednesday. And typically that's the evening we do them. Sometimes we'll mix it up. Sometimes I'll treat the group and we'll do a taco Tuesday yeah. and I'll bring tacos. Um, so we just kind of have fun with it. But, uh, the interesting part is, um, you don't know what you're doing. 
you show up. <laughs> <laughs> we put something in front of you. And, and then um, you're supposed to figure out how to put it together. No, make something. No, we, um, we help you through the process. Because, um, Leslie, if I was there... <laughs> <laughs> You'd be have to say, well, maybe you would do this and this and this with that. That's right. That's right. Um, we always have wine available oh. um, and sometimes beer, whatever we have in our fridge um, at the shop. And I think you can um, bring, I think I've read something you can bring yep, your, your yep, own wine. You can bring and, your own beverages. You can bring um, a snack or treat if you want. Uh, we usually have them open up between 5 p.m. and uh, 8 p.m. And you can show up as you get off of work. So nobody's pressed for a specific time, but most of the time the craft is easy enough that we're out of there eight, eight thirty, and then you get to shop. Um, so then the, 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 the wild card thing, mm -hmm. tell me how that inter intertwines into the, all of this. It's yeah. Because it has to do with some shopping, right? Yeah. Well, the wild card part was just a name that we came up with because you don't know what you're doing. So yeah. it's like pulling a wild card oh, and yeah. you're yeah. stuck with what you get kind of thing. <laughs> Um, but uh, sometimes we'll have several choices um, of projects to choose from. Okay. Sometimes it's the same project for everybody in the room. Oh. Um, we've done everything from painting towels to um, most of our projects involve our Annie Sloan chalk paint. Uh, so we use that. Um, and most of our projects um, include wood. Um, overall, uh, we... Um, have been hosting workshops. So I opened in 2014 and we have been hosting workshops from literally a couple of months after we opened. So you're, wait a minute, you're coming up on, you, you will be, be celebrating yeah. your 10 year this year. We're okay. celebrating our 10 year. And so we're ramping up um, more workshops uh, as the winter months. We kind of take a little bit of a break um, in uh, December and January because we focus on private parties. We host a lot of private groups coming in. This weekend, we have a group of uh, 20 women coming in. They're celebrating a baby shower, but oh. they're creating signs. Oh. So it's just a fun, we do bachelorette parties. We've done company parties. We've done um, girls just getting together. Um, but this year, we're going to focus back again on uh, also incorporating more popping in and being able to craft on on nights of the week. I kind of remember because you know I've been talking about this last week. Yeah. This is on our schedule that it is nice. So there's no, you know, other than you kind of have a window to 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 stop in yeah. and participate. You don't have to be there right at five. You can still exactly. come at six thirty and yep yep and probably have time to get your your craft on. Yep. Yep. And we, <laughs> that's a good way of use putting it. Use that one. <laughs> good, I'm going to go get my craft on. on. I like that. I'm going to get my craft on. You can use that. Um, uh, say that fast a few times. It doesn't <laughs> sound quite right. Um, but uh, the workshops, the best part too is um, that it is something new and different. I have gals that come on a wild card and they've been with me for gosh, probably five years now, uh -huh. and they don't have two of a like um, uh, of items that I'll they have not. at home. So that's fun. Um, and it's just a fun group. Um, you can come with a girlfriend. You can come. We You can even bring children. Um, we recommend 12 years and up. Mm -hmm. uh, so if it's a mom and daughter that wants to come, um, we've had a mom, daughter, and grandma oh. come. So um, definitely um, that part's nice. And uh, outside of that, we also have our private groups that are six or more. You can get a group together. And then we've been um, this past year, well, actually it's been a couple of years, we've had uh, visiting um, instructors come in oh. and do something else. So it's not necessarily just ours. We've had Painting with Paige come in and uh, do workshops. South Street Cookies, um, she does cookie decorating. Oh. Um, we are looking for someone. We've got a few other categories that we want to do for the spring. Um, so if you have a craft and you're good at it and you want to teach a group, um, contact us because we want to we want to invite you to come in. That sounds really cool. Um, I, I've, I've got a few other questions for you, but let's sure. take a break and then we'll come back and I'll fire those at you. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> At the
the Capper Auto Group, we put our customers' needs first and understand that everyone is as different as the vehicle they select. We offer new Ford, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram vehicles in a friendly environment that puts you in the driver's seat. When it comes to service, we maintain factory trained technicians and competitive pricing. The Capper Auto Group still believes that service after the sale provides the best customer experience. Come see the Capper experience for yourself. You know, it's not a question of what all you have and so on with your life. It's who is in your life and how much you care for them and how much they care for you. And Tammy definitely cares. Tammy about 20 years ago with when her daughter was in Special Olympics and I was coaching told me that she was into doing senior benefits. We became even closer friends. She cares about everybody, especially the seniors. So call her. In the heart of rural Iowa, where community matters most, the connections we make are made to last. Meet KCTC, your hometown internet, phone, and TV provider. At KCTC, we're not just about technology, we're about people. Our dedicated team are your neighbors, committed to bringing you top-tier services right where you live. We believe in giving back to the community that raised us. Experience the power of a real connection with KCTC. Join us in building a stronger, more connected Southeast Iowa. Good morning and welcome back to Washington Life. <laughs> you might think that we just sit here during the commercials while you're listening to the joke of the day and, and advertisers and so on and so forth, that we just sit here twiddling our thumbs. No, um, uh, Leslie told one hell of a funny story, <laughs> and with five seconds to go, I might add, before we came back, but that, uh, that was good. So I, what I'd asked her is I said, you know, Leslie, I am not um, crafty at all, and your answer was? You don't have to be. Um, we walk you through every step of the way um, with a project. Um, and as I told Tim in the break that in 10 years of doing this, We've only had one person that I've said, well, maybe we should just That's start over. Crafting is not um, for this Might person. have been a little too much wine involved oh. um, before crafting, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. So can you give me a hint, maybe not about this, um, this session coming up Wednesday, but maybe others. What kind of things do you do when you, all right, you're giving somebody a box, a frame. Yeah. And here's some things. What kind of things do you think of? Well, um, you know, it's pretty interesting because maybe we come up with 20, 30 ideas and we'll kind of try them out because we always try it first. And probably we come up with about 15 fails, you know, where uh. we're like, yeah, kind of an idea, but but not great. Um, uh, one of them coming up is um, we're going to do some tabletop cornholes. Yeah. Um, that's going to be a, a craft night, um, and we'll do something beer-related with it as well. Um, we just have been working to collaborate with others to come up with some fun activities to do uh, so that, you know, I mean, it is hard. We live in a small community, mm -hmm. and sometimes you want to get out and do something, but you don't want to drive all the way to Iowa City, and you get two, three hours of fun, um, you know, and and uh, be able to go home and not spend a lot of money. Right, right. So that that's kind of our mission, and we love having people get together and socialize. And um, oftentimes, you know, I'll get groups where there are individuals coming, and at the end of the night, they're all having fun and, and a great time together, but they didn't know each other coming didn't, in. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't hurt to meet new people anyway. No, that's right. Um, so t this is just a show up. 
you don't really have to contact you prior to what we do um for our wild cards now because they've been so big lately is we do ask you to send me a message and okay. reserve your spot and all that does is give us a head count so that we know who is coming for the evening um and uh if you are a no show um, the next time you register, you need to pay for your spot up front only because um, you it sometimes turns well, it sounds away. Sounds like there's a line. Yeah. It could be a yeah, line. Yeah, we've had a couple of standbys that um, uh, we've called to fill in because someone couldn't make it. So we appreciate it when someone says that they can't show yeah. up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've got a room that uh, we can usually craft 25 to 30 people. Plus a lot, a lot of times too, we're getting everything ready before you come. Mm. So having all of that prep work done saves time when you're here. Sure. Sure. You're there crafting. So minim, um, minimal fee for this evening yeah. of entertainment. Yeah, our wild cards um, range. Um, some have been as inexpensive as 25 to 35. Yeah. That's kind of the range for our wild cards. Um, we will have additional uh, classes that will come up that will collab- we'll be collaborating with someone else. Um, doing an instruction with us. So those might be a little bit more. Yeah, but a we little do- more professional I'm not saying you are not, I'm a bit, but just yeah. another professional little more, coming Yeah, in. a little more organized. You can say it because sometimes <laughs> I'm not. Um, but we do, uh, um, we do post them on our page on our mm. events. And then we'll usually then uh, – uh, send a couple of reminders on it just so people know. And if they read the little paragraph under the event, it'll say cost and yeah. what's what we're doing for the night. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Are you full for Wednesday? Um, this Wednesday, we still have room. So if Alex? people want to join us, um, get your craft they can on. Come, they can come get your craft join on. us. We yeah. got to get, get our craft on, Alex. Mm-hmm. <laughs> time to get your craft on? I don't know what I'm doing Wednesday yet. Yeah. I might talk to Patty. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Neither one of us. Valentine's Day. There neither you go. one of us are crafters. <laughs> Patty's come to one of my classes Has she? before. Yeah. Well, yeah. she she is fearless. She'll do anything. Sure. And if, as long as I could make something that just didn't look like scary, I'd I'd give it a whirl. I don't know. I'm kind of game. Or maybe you can make something scary. Maybe that's the point, but maybe not for point. Valentine's. It should be something sweet and loving and. Show affection in some some way. You know, like I say in class, if you don't think it looks great, just have another glass of wine. It'll look better afterwards. Oh, good thought. <laughs> good thought. Okay, so let's talk about the, it's from 5 to 8 yes. this Wednesday over at your yep. shop. Yep. And uh, just off the square in downtown Washington. And um, thanks very much for coming in and telling us about that. Thank you. Let's uh, do the national days. Hopefully you'll like them. National Corn Chip Day. You like corn chips? I do like corn chips. Oh, I made I made homemade corn chips yesterday and homemade salsa. I should have brought them in. Oh, you know what I, I thought? I wish it, I would have known ahead. We need to get this information out. Yeah. Because <laughs> the one thing we don't get hardly anything of is snacks. No snacks. Yeah, if you would have posted it on Friday, I could have brought in homemade corn chips and salsa. Uh, that's my kind of food. I like it. And oddly enough, it's National Puzzle Day. So we're going to call it Puzzle yeah. Week because of the Lebowski's yeah. things coming up on, on Friday. Friday. They always come up with so many clever things to do. Well, yeah, that, yeah. that was, I think, the brainchild of um, Angie Van Gundy. Yes. Because okay. she is really involved in that uh, United, United Way, the, the bed thing. Gosh dang it, what's the name of that, Alex? Sleep in Heavenly Peace. There you go. Yep. Thank we you. just did, had them as one of our uh, fundraising for the 12 days of giving okay. uh, through the holiday season. Yeah, we had those. We had them, uh, Angie, on a while ago. Mm-hmm. And we'll have yeah. her on Wednesday. Oh, so they'll see her Wednesday. I won't be here Wednesday. It was a challenge. Uh, anyway, I I think she had heard of this kind of a thing, and and I yeah. think it just sounds fun. Mm. Okay, um, the first thing uh, Leslie said to me this morning when I walked in was, "I just want to win at the birthday game." Mm-hmm. That's right. And I'm here to win at the birthday game. And <laughs> fortunately. Um, Fortunately for you, I have I've been in a slump, okay, just good. a horrid slump. Oh, okay, where it's all I can do to score one point, Leslie. Oh, okay, that's how much I'm struggling. Um, I we, think we tied the last time. Did we tie? I think we did. I don't know. Maybe we, we don't, don't know. keep a record of it. So if you told me you beat me, I would have gone with it. 
I don't think I I don't think I beat you. Well, here's your chance to redeem yourself. Okay. And thank you to KCTC, you get to pick something from the prize vault here. Oh, very they, nice. Because we um, uh, we were saving up to get the new clock, and then <laughs> ran out of money for the trophies. <laughs> yep. And, and KCTC said, enough of this not giving anything away. Mm-hmm. Although it would be fun to brag about beating me on a weekly basis, you at least get to walk away with something. There you go. So, sure. birthday game. First person, go. Christian Bale. You know him from The Dark Knight, American Psycho? I did watch The Dark Knight. I don't think I watched American Psycho. Do you want me to go first, or do you want to go first, Leslie? You go first. I go first. I'm going to say... I'm going to say he's he's 46. I'm going to say he's 49. 50. So oh, I just oh, missed good. it. You just missed it. Oh. There we go. There is a See? point. Forward. Look at you go. Next one is Patton Oswalt. Ratatouille, King of Queens. Nope. Nope. No? I mean, he looks familiar, but I don't know. Anything about him. Like, I've seen him somewhere. Mm. I, it's like he's, I feel like he's about the same age. I, I have no idea. I said 46 for Christian. I'm going to say he's 42. What's Paula say? She I'm, didn't say anything. All right. <laughs> I'm going to say 49. 55. Okay. Oh, okay. So no points. I'm, I still have a chance to tie. <laughs> Next person, maybe you know, Phil Collins. Yeah. Genesis. He started Genesis. Yeah. You ever heard of that band? I, I, <laughs> I, I knew their music, but I didn't know, like, the band name. But I was like, this is somebody Tim's going to know. Absolutely. Yeah. He can play so drums and guitars and I put it. all kinds of stuff. Um, boy, he looks old there, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, but that's a that, We listened rough. to him in high school. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, he's good stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say 70. Well, let's see. I'm going to say 76. 73. Ooh. So right in the middle of both of you. We both get a point. Last one. Let's see so if you're uh, up with an astounding two to one lead. <laughs> I, but I, you can still win. News. Here's the good news. I'm not skunked. Yeah. That's, I told you. <laughs> all I want to do is get at least one point. <laughs> Next one, Oprah Winfrey. And I have like no idea. You have no idea? I mean, none. I, I just, none. I'm 60. 62. 70. <gasps> she Whoa. looks great for 70. Well, that's airbrushed, for God's sakes. <laughs> she can't look like that. Okay, all the <laughs> other pictures of her made her look even younger. So I tried to pick the oldest looking picture of her. She kind of has um, in that picture. I don't know if that's recent or not. I have no idea. Yeah. She, when I just glance at her, just right, she looks like uh, Janet Jackson, just a little bit to me. Oh, just the hairstyle hair. for sure. Just the hair, like, like not the mouth, the the, the eyes. You know. Anyway, uh, congratulations, Leslie. Thank you have you. a commanding two to one victory. I'm so excited. And my losing streak Bragging continues rights for the week. Bragging rights forever. <laughs> but certainly until I lose again. Um, thanks very much for coming in and talking about your wild card Wednesday. And, Thank you uh, for having me. Hope everybody, well, I hope you fill up. You got a few spots left. Give Leslie a call or Facebook. And if uh, you want to do something unique with your friends or your significant other. Alex, thank you very much mm-hmm. for all you do. Remember, Morning Breath coming up morning a week breath. from today. And that's every day. Every day. Every day. 7.15. 7.15, 7.45. Okay. That's why I have a new clock, so we won't go over. Yeah. Okay. I bet. Thanks very much for joining. We'll, until next time.